it's Angel. So if you're stuck at home and you have a craving for bubble tea, this is the video for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make 15 minute instant pot boba and I've got my instant pot right here. It's the instant pot mini duo and honestly guys, this is one of my favorite ways to make boba now because you can just put it in the instant pot set it for 15 minutes, walk away, do your homework, do a load of laundry, come back, and you have perfectly made boba. Yum. And what's great is that if you're home alone and you only need boba for one cup of boba, this is super ideal. So if you're interested in learning how to make Instant Pot boba, keep watching. So the first thing we'll need is we're going to need some boba or tapioca pearls. Now you can get these at your local Asian grocery store. A bag like this costs around two to three dollars and it's two pounds worth of boba. So that is a lot of boba. You can usually find it at your local Asian grocery store, but if you can't get out there now because of everything that's going on, you can also order it off of Amazon. I'll post a link to that in the video description. Just do note that these boba pearls are very I guess soft and when they're in the bag they may crumble a little bit so just be careful when handling them if for some reason you have crumbled ones in your bag just go ahead and remove those and just measure out a quarter cup of the round tapioca pearls next i'm going to fill up the instant pot with water and here you actually want quite a bit of water in there because you want the boba to be able to float and swim around Okay, now we wanna set the Instant Pot to saute. Now guys, you're gonna need a little patience because once you put that on saute, it could take about 10 to 15 minutes for the water to come to a rolling boil. And you wanna make sure that the water is at a rolling boil before you put these guys in or else these are gonna stick to the bottom of the pan and that's not fun. You'll get soggy boba. So don't. The water is at a rolling boil right now. I don't know if you can hear that. But there's tons of steam coming up. And in addition to the boba, you'll wanna get a spoon ready. So I'm gonna put the boba in. Give it a quick stir. One. And I'm going to stir this three times. So that was the first time. I just gave it a stir and I'm going to let the boba kind of swirl around. And when the boba stops swirling, I'm gonna do it again two and three so after you're done the third time the water should have come back to a rolling boil and then you don't have to worry about the boba sticking to the bottom of the pan that's why i recommend stirring three times now go ahead and close the instant pot all right how do i do this cancel that Make sure you change this to seal. And then we're gonna start pressure cook on normal high for 15 minutes. Now we wait. Now once the 15 minutes are up, your Instant Pot will go to keep warm. And what you wanna do is just wait another 15 minutes and then we'll do the quick release. I don't know why, I really like that sound. So here we go, let's check it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a stir. And wow, they are perfect, look at that. So beautiful. Now I'm just gonna take and scoop some into a bowl. Looks like that, guys. Next, it's really important here to rinse and drain the boba under super cold water. This also helps to stop the cooking process and shock the boba, making our boba extra chewy. <gasps> oh no, boba down. We lost some boba in the sink. Be careful, guys. So after straining it, it's okay to leave a little bit of water in there. Then to sweeten the boba, we're gonna add one teaspoon of brown sugar. So that's one teaspoon of brown sugar. Give that a good stir. Now we're just gonna let the boba sit and absorb the brown sugar for about 10 to 15 minutes. Yay! 
And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna make myself a hot milk tea to go with my boba. And that, guys, is how you make Instant Pot Boba. As you can see, super easy, 15 minute cook time, 15 minute quick release, and perfect boba each time. Let's try it. Mmm. Perfectly chewy, a little bit of brown sugar, the hints of brown sugar, and it tastes just like you get at the store. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more Boba Rista videos like this, post in the comments and let me know what kind of bubble tea you want me to make. And finally guys, I just wanted to say stay safe, be kind, enjoy your bubble tea, and if I can make boba, you can be a Boba Rista too. Cheers.